UK State Bank granddad, an Iraq war veteran, heading to the Invictus Games after suffering a near-death experience. Now, members of the squad, I had promised each and every single one of you that I will share with you the stories of Invictus Games participants. And today, I share with you a deeply emotional and inspiring story. A story of Mark Cloherty. Now, Mark Cloherty was diagnosed with PTSD after serving in Iraq and is now preparing to compete as part of a team of wounded, injured and sick military personnel and veterans. Mark is a granddad from Clyde Bank in the UK and is set to compete at the Invictus Games in The Hague. Mark is a royal military policeman in the Iraq war and was diagnosed with PTSD after suffering a near-death experience. Mark is 49 years old and will be representing the Team UK in athletics, cycling and rowing after originally being selected in October 2019 before the pandemic hit. Now, our veterans, what I've learned about the after effects of experiencing war, the horrors and desolation of war, is the fact that most veterans suffer from PTSD. So it's important that when you pass a veteran, just say thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for every single thing that you've done to protect your country in each and every single country that they respectively they respectively serve, whether it's in the UK or in the US. Whichever country, kindly say thank you for your service. And we thank veterans for their service. Once in service, always in service, as Prince Harry always said. Always says. Members of the squad, this is what Prince Harry built, the Invictus Games. To serve the purpose of helping, motivating members who have served and have been injured due to the effects of war. Some paralyzed, disabled. And they're clearly showing each and every single one of you the story that I've read. Clearly show that disability is not inability. I mean, look at Mark, for instance. He will be representing Team UK. Representing Team UK in athletics, cycling, and even rowing. All these sports, all of them. He's showing that being disabled does not mean being unable to do or engage in the sports that he loves. And he loves athletics, cycling, and rowing. And it's the fact that the Invictus Games has been able to help him and assist him in his journey to recovery. This is what the Invictus Games, the stories, I finally understand why Harry will be sharing the stories of the Invictus Games. I understand. Just by reading and learning about the personal lives of these amazing men and women that have served their countries respectively. Like Mark, I am deeply, deeply inspired just learning about their stories that are deeply, deeply emotional. Mark said that participating in the games has enabled him to deal with the PSD, with PTSD, and helped on his journey to recovery is the fact that this game that was built by prince harry is able to impact and touch the lives of so many veterans from all across the world clearly shows the reason as to why prince harry is respected worldwide by each and every single person that has served their country every serviceman knows the name of prince harry because of what he's been able to do the fact that he built the Invitas games from the ground up to help the veteran community showcases is a testament to Prince Harry's amazing character and the fact that he is a really, really great man, great guy. A man who served his country for 10 years in active duty in Afghanistan. I have so much respect for Prince Harry. So, so much respect.
And I also can't wait to see him at the Invictus Games on April 16th. Now, Mark said this. Allow me to continue with what, with what Mark said. Mark said that, and I quote, Sport has always been a massive part of my life. It gives me something to focus on. For me, this has all been about learning and just pushing yourself. But I have to say, I've really enjoyed it. I love this story. I love this story. I love it. The fact that this isn't just about competing. It's about enjoying the competition. And Mark is going out there to enjoy themselves, to enjoy himself alongside his fellow men and women that have served their country respectively. And I have so much respect for each and every single person that has served their country, like Mark. So, so much respect. So, so much respect. And to each and every single one of them, thank you so, so much for your service. It's about going out there, having so much fun. And Mark, I look to share with us members here at the Sasko Family TV of your performance at the Invictus Games. We'll keep a close eye on your performance at the Invictus Games. But Mark, we would like you to know just one thing. Thank you for your service. And also, I want to say the fact that thank you for your inspiring story. And allow me to continue the story of Mark. Mark says that being able to participate in the Invictus Games and represent Team UK will allow me to enjoy that participation again with a team environment, but more importantly, as a tool in dealing with my PTSD and in helping my family as a whole. I plan to positively focus on trying to continue my journey towards recovery whilst helping others to do so as well. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Do you see what, you know, when you're a good man like Prince Harry, you surround yourself with good people. Every single thing that you touch turns to gold. Harry has built this Invictus game to support the veteran community and just look at what it brings out in people. Look at what it's bringing, it's bringing out in Mark. The fact that he wants to help others that have suffered through PTSD. Help them in their recovery process while still himself suffering from PTSD is a testament to not just his character, but the impact of the Invictus Games as a whole, as a community that it is, a community of veterans from all across this earth, joining hands, gathering up together to support one another. Thank you, Prince Harry, for building the Invictus Games. Just listen to Mark's words. He wants to enjoy himself at the Invictus Games. He wants to enjoy himself and have fun. That is something common that I've seen from the participants that I've talked about in my recent podcast. Like Gabriel. And now the story of Mark. They want to enjoy themselves. And now it also helps them. Invictus Games helps them in dealing. Helps him deal with his PTSD. And now he also wants to help others. Others continue in their journey of recovery, as he also helps himself continue in his own journey of recovery. To also support his family, he wants to support and provide for his family. And Mark, we are cheering you on, and I can't wait to share with you all members of the squad performance of Mark. But one thing is for sure, Mark, you already are a winner. And we wish you well while dealing with this PTSD and in your recovery process. May you be healed in Jesus' name, Mark. May you be healed. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Have so, so much fun. And may you be blessed. Now, Mark continues by saying this. Allow me to just continue the story of Mark. I, I keep on pausing and talking about it because it just deeply inspires me. This is hugely emotional. The fact that it clearly shows the fact that being Disabled. Disability is not 
inability. It's not inability. He still wants to provide for his family. And that's what he's doing. And I respect that. I respect that, Mark. And I respect each and every single member, servicemen, that, and women that have gone and are heading to the Invictus Games. One thing is for sure, you are all winners. Now, Mark said this. In July 2021, my wife and I became grandparents to a lovely grandson named Oli. Knowing some of my family will be at the game supporting me has helped rekindle the fire and thanks to a good friend, Kevin Lagan. I've got my training back on track. Now, as you can see and hear from exactly his own words, the words of Mark. He sticks to the family, support of his family. Support of his family that's, that he's been able to pull through and go through every single thing that he's gone through in his life. And knowing the fact that his family will be at the Invitas Games also supporting him while he competes means the world to him. And thank you to every single mother, father, husband, wife of any single veteran that is currently serving their country out there from all across the world. And even those that are currently competing at the Invictus Games, being supported by their families. Thank you so much and may God bless you all. Now, the Invictus Games training camps organized by Health for Heroes have been great. They ha they've helped bring back that feeling of being part of a team environment, which has been massive for me, Mark says. A team effort from all across the world. All of them joining hands to help one another. This is what the Invictus Games is about. Helping one another, supporting one another, supporting the veteran community that have served their country. And thank you so much, Prince Harry, for building something special. Something, something special that brings out the best, the good in people from all across the world, from all walks of life. And I cannot wait for the Invitas Games to start on April 16th. Now, competitors, as I continue, competitors kept their fitness and spirits up during multiple lockdowns by altering their routines to take on virtual training online, as well as getting back outdoors where restrictions allowed. Having not seen each other in person since the start of 2020, the team, along with coaches and support staff, attended the first post-lockdown Invictus UK training camp in November and have continued to join weekend camps provided by Help for Heroes, the military charity that is responsible for the selection, training and welfare of UK competitors. And thank you so much Help for Heroes charity for every single thing that you do for veterans. Thank you so, so much. As we now know, Team UK will compete in nine sports, athletics, archery, wheelchair basketball, cycling, powerlifting, indoor rowing, wheelchair rugby, swimming, and sitting volleyball. Health for Heroes' Hannah Lawton, who is chef de mission for Team UK, said, and I quote, The journey to an Invictus Games is always massive for every single competitor, as they learn to adapt to life changing injuries and illnesses, and manage daily struggles before even getting the point of applying to compete. None of us imagined that Team UK would have the added challenge of a pandemic and by the time they get to The Hague, a delay of two years. These competitors are well versed in taking on challenges though and I'm so proud of the commit commitment they have shown to the team, whether that's in keeping up with training virtually supporting their teammates or recognizing when they need to step back and take a break. From all of us back in Glasgow, good luck Team UK, says Hannah Lawton. Do you see the impact of the Invitas Games on the life of Mark Cloherty? Do you see that? His family will be headed to the Invitas Games in the Netherlands to support him and cheer him on. And so we shall also cheer him on 
right here at Zesco Family TV here on YouTube. And I can't wait to share the performance of each and every single Invictus Games participant that I talk about in our podcast. And it's the fact that, you know, every single thing that Harry touches and builds from the ground up turns to gold. That just shows that Harry and Megan are blessed. And it's the fact that this Invictus Games that was built by Prince Harry, the Invictus Games, a crown jewel, something that is more like a crown jewel for military veterans from all across the world are coming to the Netherlands for the Invictus Games. And as you can hear the story of Mark, he's going there to enjoy himself, have fun next to his fellow servicemen. He wants to also help others in their journey towards recovery. He currently has been diagnosed with PTSD and is going through a recovery process. It's not easy. It's not easy. As Health for Heroes Hannah Lotton also said, she said that the fact that someone can even go from, despite every single thing that they've been through, to the point of applying to compete, that's a journey in itself. It's a journey in itself. These veterans have been through a lot. Through a lot. And they keep showing and inspiring each and every single one of us not to give up. You want to look as an inspiration that tells you not to ever give up despite anything that you've gone through. Look at the store. Look at Mark. Look at Mark. After undergoing PTSD, he's not giving up. He hasn't given up on life, despite being disabled. He hasn't given up on the sports that he loves, that he's going to compete in, to bring more to his country, to continue serving his country in the UK. He hasn't given up, and neither should all of us. Let us continue helping one another, growing as a family. And I'm glad that our channel here, Access Confirmed TV, is growing. Our community is growing. Our community is growing. Let us spread hope. Let us spread love. These deeply inspiring stories, they inspire me so, so much. And I love them. They're so, so emotional. And the fact that the Invictus Games brings out the best in people, like Mark, like yesterday I talked about Gabriel, it just goes to show what Harry has built is truly a crown jewel that has impacted and touched the lives of so many individuals. And it means a lot. It means the world. And may each and every single competitor know one thing. Like Mark, you are winners. And may God bless each and every single one of you. And may you heal from PTSD. And may you win trophies at the Invitus Games. You are a winner. And you have already won. Thank you for your service, Mark. Thank you for each and every single person. Whether you have a family at home serving in the military, say thank you. Thank you for your service. And remember what I told you yesterday. That guys, please, family, ladies and gentlemen, please go out there. Kindly just do some exercise. Whether it's running, whether it's jogging, whether it's walking. It goes a long way in helping out with your health. It's hugely, hugely important. Do some exercise. Anything, whether it's walking. Tell me what you do. Do you exercise at home? Leave that in the comment section and tell us what you do to, to maintain your fitness. It's extremely important. It also helps someone live a much healthier lifestyle by exercising, training, and working hard. Thank you so much to each and every single member of the squad. Thanks so much, Mark, and may God bless you. We look forward to seeing how you perform at the Invictus Games. Remember, members of the squad, the Invictus Games will be at April 16th to April 22. Let us support our veterans. Let us support them by watching the Invictus Games. I think it's going to be fantastic. I believe it will be fantastic. May God bless each and every single one of you. Have a fantastic, nice, nice day. The Invictus Games truly 
brings out the best in people. And I love that. Good always triumphs. Good shall always win. And we are on the side of good. Thank you so much, Mark, for your deeply inspiring story. And thank you also to your family who will be there for you as you compete in the Vitas Games. And congratulations on your grandson, Oli. May God bless you so much. These are fantastic stories. And thank you so much for allowing them, me, allowing me also, members of the squad, to share with you these amazing stories of Invictus Games participant. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much, members of the squad. May God bless each and every single one of you. Service is universal. We can all serve. May God bless you so much. And thank you so much. I love you, family. Sayonara. And thank you for so, so much for joining me in this podcast. Stay tuned to our other podcast airing in a few, in a few hours. Love you, family. Sayonara. Hello, and welcome back to Sasko Family TV. As I end this podcast, I'd like to thank you so much for watching our video. It means the absolute world to us. Kindly like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. Kindly hit that like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content. We post every single day. And it will mean the absolute world to us if you support our channel by liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment below. If you wish to donate to our channel, kindly send to our PayPal email briankiputo95 at gmail.com in our description box or to our Netella account. Also, briankiputo95 at gmail.com. Your support will mean the absolute world to us, with PayPal being the preferred option for this channel. Kindly stay tuned to our next video and thank you, thank you so much to every single person that has ever supported our family. With so much love, stay tuned to our next video and I'm hoping that you're having a great, fantastic day and this podcast made you feel much, much better. Have a great day, family. Thank you.